हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डेडमी तो हम कंटिन्यू करते हैं हमारे फिल्म्स के रैपिड रिवीजन सीरीज से वेर वी आर कवरिंग द लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम जोग्राफी तो दिस इज पार्ट फाइव ऑफ द करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम जोग्राफी तो इस लेक्चर में हम नेशनल पार्क्स बायोस्पी रिजर्व्स वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज एंड अदर प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज के बारे में बात करते हैं और सम मिसिलीनियस थिंग्स फ्रॉम जोग्राफी के बारे में बात करते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट बंदीपुर टाइगर रिजर्व वॉज इन न्यूज वाई इट वॉज इन न्यूज इट वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज there are lot of man animal conflicts that are happening in this bandipur forest reserve so this uh, bandipur forest reserve where it is located it's a tiger reserve it is located in karnataka it's just a minute it's located in karnataka okay and the bandipur forest reserve it shares a boundary with kerala also the highway is which a highway is there in bandipur forest reserve where that highway connects the districts of the upper northern part of kerala to karnataka the districts of vayanad and all are connected via this road this is the highway so recently there is a ban on night traffic on the forest stretch of nh766 which is a key highway between karnataka and kerala as i told you already okay so there is a ban and that is why this was in news so the bandipur tiger reserve is in karnataka okay and this is part of the nilgiri biosphere reserve part of the nilgiri biosphere reserve okay next east antarctica maritime protected area so recently there was a proposal by australia and european union to declare the east antarctica marine protected area so there, there was a proposal for this but this proposal was opposed by china and russia china and russia opposed kiya is proposal ko and a marine protected area kya hota hai it is that area where commercial activities are not allowed and the area is protected as a whole the diversity the biodiversity which is there in that area is being protected okay so as we know there are already two two protected areas in the antarctica region they are <coughs> excuse me they are under the conservation of antarctic marine living resources and the commission for conservation of antarctic marine living resources ccamlr under this the two marine protected areas are there the protected areas are first is the south orkney islands in the uh, which was declared as a protected area in 2009 and the ross sea region which was declared protected area in 2016 okay so these two next one pobita wildlife sanctuary was in use pobita wildlife sanctuary is located in assam it is located in assam and it has the highest concentration of one horned rhinos pobita wildlife sanctuary is located in assam remember that it has highest concentration of one horned rhinos in the world next pakke tiger reserve was in use it is the last tiger reserve that was declared you can say this is the recent tiger reserve okay so this pakke tiger reserve it was in use because the arunachal pradesh government wants to build a highway through that road so that is why this was in use okay and so some of the key facts the pakke tiger reserve is also known as pakhui tiger reserve in us in arunachal pradesh and the tiger reserve has won india biodiversity award 2016 in the category of conservation of threatened species for the hornbill nest adoption program hornbill is an important bird in the northeast and hornbill festival is celebrated in nagaland remember hornbill festival in nagaland that is why this is important hornbill conservation program that is about pakke tiger reserve which is there in arunachal pradesh next one goga bill has been declared as bihar's first community reserve okay what is community reserve community reserve is that reserve that area which is there in that community it belongs to the whole community okay that is declared as a reserve and the biodiversity in that reserve around that reserve will be protected and it is this gauga bill it is a oxbow lake now what is a oxbow lake oxbow lake is a is a basically it is a lake which is formed because of the change in course of the river change in course of the river okay so let's say a river is flowing like this a river is flowing like this and during the course of time because of lot of changes either in the rain pattern or lot of changes in the soil pattern what will happen is that the river will change its course and the river will flow like this so when the river cha change its direction this lake this area will be left or the the other part or you can say the area where the lake used to be there earlier that is left and when that is left okay 
that will form that will be formed as a lake and that is called an oxbow lake it is called oxbow lake because you can see the shape it is the shape of a oxbow okay that is why this is important next so this was declared as a, a community reserve so it uh, it is formed from the flow of rivers mahananda and kankar in the north and ganga in the south mahananda and kankar in the north and ganga in the south next paul army bomb was in use paul army bomb was in use because it was because recently there are a lot of crops that are you know that are affected by this bomb a lot of crops in karnataka madhya pradesh up all this region bihar all this region crops are affected by this bomb this crop is this uh, worm is actually native to south america it is native to the tropical and subtropical region of america both north and south you can say but mostly it is found in south america in 2016 the worm was first detected in africa from there it has spread to the asia also and it is found now it is found in sri lanka india china thailand malaysia and all these countries it is found okay next international sea testing association why it was in news it was in news because 32nd congress was held in hyderabad 32nd congress was held in hyderabad by whom it is held by the ministry of agriculture and, Fa and farmer welfare of india and the telangana government they have jointly held this conference and this international sea testing association was found originally in 1924 what is the main purpose what is the main use of this association it is to mainly to develop and publish standard procedures in the field of seed testing because seed testing is very much important in order to determine the quality of seeds because the farmers produce and everything is basically dependent on the seeds only it is an association of laboratories which are authorized to check on the marketing of seeds as defined in the various countries laws okay according to the laws the seeds are confirmed or not will be checked by this international by this laboratories and all the laboratories combined there is an association all the laboratories across the world and that is the international seed testing association next colistin banned in animal food industry colistin was banned so what is colistin colistin is a drug okay it is a drug that is actually used to save human lives but it now it is banned in the animal food industry because it has been used, it has been observed that this colistin has been used by various people for the you know in the food of the animals so that they will give more milk and also they will reduce some of the diseases that the animals have they have started using it more and that is actually impacting the health of the animals so this colistin is banned in the animal food industry okay colistin remember colistin is banned in the animal food industry next the mapping of lightning across india the mapping of lightning across india in 2019 was done by climate research observing system promotion council which is a non profit organization that works closely with the indian meteorological department okay for the first time mid monsoon 2019 lightning report has been published okay and this is prepared by climate resilient observing systems climate resilient observing systems next rudrashila rudrashila was in news what is rudrashila it is a river rafting expedition river rafting expedition undertaken by kalidhar battalion under the aegis of battle axe division so where this was held this was held in mountains of uttarakhand mountains of uttarakhand as you know uttarakhand is a hilly state and lot of rivers flow through uttarakhand mainly the ganga and its tributaries they start from uttarakhand and flow through that so lot of rivers are there so it is a very conducive you know way you can say it is very attractive for the tourism and it is also very attractive for the river rafting expeditions excuse <coughs> me next multidisciplinary drifting observatory for the study of arctic climate expedition mosaic expedition it is called what is this mosaic expedition it is basically a ship which goes to arctic and it will park there it will be parked in the arctic region and lot of testing will be done in the course of time because of ch climate changes that will happen in the arctic and because of the drifting because of the movement of the waves in the water in near the arctic the ship will automatically drift itself and lot of testing can be done over it okay and india's vishnu nandan will be the first indian about this multidisciplinary drifting observatory so this uh, this observatory is basically a german research vessel polarstern it's a basically a german research vessel and the mosaic is spearheaded by alfred wegener institute of in germany it is basically a german institute alfred wegener institute this is spearheading this expedition next national institute of ocean technology nivot so this national institute of ocean technology was in use lately because this national institute of ocean technology develops all the technology 
for mining the polymetallic nodules. We have seen already what are polymetallic nodules in the previous lecture. So, this National Institute of Ocean Technology is basically an autonomous society under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. It's an autonomous society. It, it has developed niche technologies to mine manganese nodules from the deep sea. Niche technologies to mine manganese nodules from the deep sea. And it is a nodal aid agency from India for the implementing of the proposed deep ocean mission. That is about the National Institute of Ocean Technology. Next, Living Roots Bridge. Living Roots Bridge was news. Where is this Living Roots Bridge located? It is located in Meghalaya. Located in Meghalaya and it serves as a connector between two regions from generations. Okay. And this Living Roots Bridge is also known as Jing Keng Jri in Meghalaya. It's known as Jing Keng Jri. Jing, Jing Keng Jri. And these are, series, these are the aerial bridges which are formed by the roots of large trees. Okay. That is about the Living Roots Bridge. Next, Johats was in news. Johats, the Haryana's Johats, these are the community owned rainwater storage system. So, community, the community Johats, you know, the it's basically the communities will build rainwater harvesting systems and they are known as Johats. They are known as Johats in Haryana. Next, Dendrocology Conference was held in India recently. This the sixth Asian Dendrocology Conference was held at the Birbal Sahini Institute of Paleo Sciences in Lucknow. It was held in Lucknow. This is the first time that such a conference was held in India. Now, what is dendrocology? Dendrocology is basically the study of rings on the bark of tree. If you cut a tree and this is the, this is the cross section of the tree and here you will be seeing a lot of rings like this. Okay, the study of these rings is nothing but dendrocology. And this why is the study of these rings important? The study of these rings is important because by, by studying these rings, we will understand the type of tree, we will understand the age of tree and also we will understand in which type of climate the tree was grown and all the properties and all the wealth of information that we have with regarding to the tree can be found using this, using this dendrocology, using these rings, okay, that is why this is important. Next, India's first maritime museum was opened recently and this was opened in Lothal in Gujarat. As you know, Lothal is also an important Indus Valley site for India. Okay, and the a National Maritime Heritage Museum was recently opened and this museum will act as an independent research center for the archaeology of boat building, reconstruction of maritime history and material and materials traded. Okay, that is why this is important. The first India's first maritime museum where it was opened, Lothal in Gujarat. And next news is the first fruit train of India. The first fruit train that means a train wholly with fruits it was filled with fruits and recently it was flagged off from andhra pradesh to the, the jawaharlal nehru port in mumbai so this was started this are, so recently we are lot of you know there is a lot of talk about the freight corridors freight corridors are basically the corridors specifically for the movement of you know goods like fruits vegetables and all okay so this is a, this is a, you can say this is a great step it's a great first step that we have started so a load of 980 metric ton of locally grown bananas which will be sent to Iran which has to be exported to Iran has been sent from the Thadipatri railway station in Andhra Pradesh to Mumbai. You know, you know there are a lot of advantages by using railways. What are the advantages? Generally, you know, the train, the, the goods which are carried by train, generally that the, you know, the quantity of goods is carried by about 150 trucks. So a lot of lot of energy, lot of fossil fuels can be saved and also the road traffic can be reduced because of these things. Okay. Now let's just revise what we have covered till now. First we have seen about Bandipur Tiger Reserve. The Bandipur Tiger Reserve is located in Karnataka. Next we have seen about the East Antarctic Maritime Protected Area proposed by Australia and European Union. We already have two existing maritime protected areas. One is the South Orkney Islands Southern Shelf and the next is the Ross, Re Ross Sea region. Next, we have seen about the Pobita Wildlife Sanctuary. It was in news and this Pobita Wildlife Sanctuary is famous for the one-horned rhinos. It has the highest concentration of one-horned rhinos in the world. Next, Pakke Tiger Reserve. Pakke Tiger Reserve is in Arunachal Pradesh. Next, we have seen about the Gogabil. Gogabil is a community reserve, the first community reserve in Bihar. Okay, the flow of river, it is formed by the flow of rivers, Mahananda and Kankar in the north and Ganga in the south and east. And it is an oxbow lake. Next, fall army worm, fall army worm, which is native to the tropics and subtropic regions of America. And this has spread now spread it to the entire world, we can say. 
okay so recently lot of crop in india is damaged because of this fall army bomb next international seed testing association conference was recent the congress was recently held in hyderabad that is why this is important it is very recent it is held in hyderabad this international seed testing association was founded in 1984 and it is association of various seed testing laboratories across the world next colistin banned was banned in animal food industry colistin is basically a last resort antibiotic that saves human lives and it is banned in the animal food industry next mapping of lightnings across india is done in 2019 and it is done by the climate resilient observing systems promotion council okay which is a non profit organization that works closely with the indian meteorological department next we have seen about rudrashila rudrashila is a rafting expedition which was held in uttarakhand next is the multidisciplinary drifting observatory for the study of arctic climate mosaic which is an expedition by german by the german institute alfred wegener and it will be carried on it will be carried by the german research vessel polarstern and india's vishnuvardhan will be part of that team next national institute of ocean technology niot was established in 1993 and this is the implementing or you can say this is the nodal institution for implementing the proposed deep ocean mission where india is mining the polymetallic nodules and this niot national institute of ocean technology actually develops various technologies for the mining of the nodules in this deep sea next living roots bridges was in news the living roots bridges is the living is the bridge we can say natural bridge formed in meghalaya and it is locally known as jing kingjri next johats was in news johat is a community owned rainwater harvesting system which is in haryana next one the dendrocology conference the 6th asian dendrocology conference was recently held at the birbal sahani institute of paleo science in lucknow next the india's first maritime museum was opened at lothal in gujarat and after that the first fruit train was flagged off from andhra pradesh to the jawaharlal nehru port in mumbai maharashtra so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture where we will cover some map related things till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind